Hello everyone and welcome to Login Science. This is your friend Jill. So in today's video, I'm going to solve a problem or a question on Doppler effect. So this is a question from November 2020 first paper. So it's on Doppler effect. It was question six. So let me read the question. So the siren or the train moving at a constant speed along a straight horizontal track emits sound with a constant frequency. A detector placed next to the track records the frequency of the sound waves. The results obtained are as shown in the graph below. So the results are shown in the graph below. So we have two values of frequency, a greater value and a smaller value. And we have time. So this is a graph of frequency versus time. So you can see there is a drop in frequency from this to this. So there is a drop in frequency. Okay, now we have four questions, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, and 6.4. So let's start with 6.1. So 6.1 says, state the Doppler effect in weight. What is the Doppler effect in weight? So the Doppler effect is the change in frequency of the sound detected by a listener because the source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of propagation. So the medium of propagation is, in the case of the Doppler effect here, is the air. So that's where the sound is traveling. So it is the medium of propagation. And just try to memorize this statement, you will be okay. And whenever reading it, you should also have the Doppler effect formula in mind so that it can be easy for you to remember the statement. So let's repeat that again. The Doppler effect is the change in frequency of the sound detected by a listener because the source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of propagation. Okay? So try to memorize it and also try to understand it by looking at the formula of the Doppler effect. So this is 6.1. Now let's do 6.2. So with 6.2, the question says, does the detector record the frequency of 3148 Hz when the train moves toward the detector or when the train moves away from the detector obviously you know when it's moving toward it will be a greater frequency when it's moving away it will be a smaller frequency so we have a greater frequency here. so we should be able to tell we must be able to tell is it toward or away you can see this is greater so this should be toward and this is smaller this should be away so does the Detector record the frequency of 3148 Hz when the train moves toward the detector or away. So the answer will be toward because the value is greater. So we should expect a greater frequency. So 6.2 is toward. Now let's move on to 6.3. So 6.3, the question says calculate the speed of the frequency and then we are told to take the speed of sound equal to 340, 340 meters per second. So you can see the speed of sound is 340 meters per second. And now the speed of the train, it will be V sub S because the train is the source because the sound is coming from the siren or the train so the sound is coming from the train or the siren of the train so the source is the train so that's why the question is to find v sub s not v sub l 
D sub L will be the detector. So here in the question, calculate the speed of the train. We are asked to find V sub S. So because the train is the source. And we are told that the speed of sound, we must take 340 meters per second. And you can see the detector is placed next to the track, so it's not in motion. So the detector being the listener, this event will be zero. So the detector is not in motion. Okay? Are we okay so far? And we are given two informations here. This is the value for toward motion and this is the value for away motion so we have two frequency here for toward motion and for away motion and the graph is the graph of frequency versus time so for us to be able to get this best we have to create two equations using these two values and then from the two equations we'll be able to find this best so we have a formula for the Doppler effect for away motion and the formula for the Doppler effect for toward motion. So this one is the toward motion. So F sub L is equal to V plus V sub L over V minus V sub S times F sub S. So this one is for toward what motion and for away motion is this one so this is for away motion so the only difference is in the sign you can see so to understand the formula just check the suggested video, this suggested video on top here, so that you can understand how to use the formula in case of away motion and in case of toward motion. How can you play around with your sign? So just check the other video which, he, which I have suggested to understand your formula. Okay, so this is now the formula we are going to use. So in the first one, the toward motion, we're going to plug this value. And in the second one, the away motion, we are going to plug this value. So these are the values detected. So the F sub L and F sub L. This is for toward motion and this is for away motion. So let me call this one equation number one or formula number one and this one two. So in one, in one day, this one will be having 3148 is equal to the speed of sound is 340 plus remember this sub L is zero because the detector is stationary then we have 340 minus V sub S which will be calculating so times f sub s so we have two unknown here and now let's plug in the second one so i can use this space here I can use this space here so in the second formula so in the second formula which is for away we'll use this one so this is the away value because it's a smaller value we expect to, have to be small because it's away equal to V which is 340 minus V sub L which is 0 over 340 away, away this one plus V sub S times F sub S ok so we have these two formulas we have plugged the values in here So we're going to make F sub S the subject of the formula and then plug it in another 
equation. So we have two equations, this one and this one, and we have two unknown, V sub S and F sub S. You can see in both two unknown, F sub S and V sub S. So we're going to make in one of the equation F sub S, the subject of, of the formula, and plug that in another equation and solve for V sub S. So let's use equation number one. This one. So what will be F sub S? So you can see you just have to multiply by this and then divide by this on both sides. So it will be you have 3148. You multiply by starting by this, which is 340 minus V sub S over 340 plus 0 which is 340 yeah you can see now this is f sub s so i just multiply by this and divide by this on both sides and then you'll be having f sub s on its own now we're going to plug this new formula of one into two so let me make some space by now removing this by erasing this okay just feel free to pause the video i'm trying to make some space here okay now we're going to plug it in so now we're going to plug this new equation of f sub s into the second one so let's see that so it's 20 73 is equal to 340 minus 0, which is 340 over 340 plus V sub S multiplied by F sub S. So this is F sub S. So we multiply by F sub S, which is 3048. V sub S over 340. Okay. So you can see this and this will cancel because if one term here, it will cancel here. And then now you remain with 2073 is equal to, you have at the top there 3100. 48 multiply by this 340 minus v sub s close then you remain with this 340 plus v sub s times there's one there because it's cancelled times one <coughs> now let's carry on let me make some space there Okay, so we have to get rid of what is at the bottom on both sides. So we multiply by this on both sides and this side. So on the left side, we'll be having 2073 times 340 plus V sub S close. It's equal to when you multiply on this side, you only remain with 3148. Then in bracket you have 340 minus V sub S like this. Okay. And now use your calculator. So 2073 times 340, you should get this 704,820. Okay. And then you have 2073 times V sub S, so it will be 2073 V sub S. Okay, now equal to, now you have 3148 times 
340 we should get this 107.10 okay minus because there's minus there this one times this one is 31 48 into this 148 b sub s when you get this one multiply with this one okay we get the eraser just to make space okay now you have this lab term this service and this service this one you put them together so it's 20 73 b service then get this one plus 31 48 v sub s equal to this one 7 0 3 20 and this one now comes to set it becomes negative because it's plus there so changes the signs 7 0 4 8 2 0 okay now on the left side we have 20 7 3 plus this so you should get this one service and on the right side using your calculator you should get you should get This service get this one divide by this one and divide by this one on both sides so the answer will be 70 meters per second okay so this is the answer to 6.3 so this is the speed remember it it's 70 meters per second now 6.4 it says the detector started recording the frequency of the moving trains siren when the train was 350 meter away 350 meters away calculate time t1 indicated on the graph above so we have to get t1 so what is t1 here what you need is your equation or your formula for mechanics that's all you need so you can use either of the formula for example you can use this one you know that the speed is always the change in displacement over the time if you remember that from mechanic or there's also another formula with mechanic where there's acceleration involved but here the acceleration is zero you can also use that for me but let's use this formula to find t so from here you get your t will be equal to change in displacement over velocity and remember the velocity was calculated in the previous question 6.3 which is 70 meters per second so the time t1 will be equal to the displacement it's 350 meters over the velocity which was calculated in the previous question which is 70 meters per second and the answer will be when you use your calculator you'll get five seconds so t1 is five seconds so this is all for this question i believe 